from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Plant growers are now excited about five new grape rootstocks that have been developed and are ready for producers. This represents 15 years of work by UC Davis plant geneticists. Nursery growers came to UC Davis to pick up these valuable rootstocks for table, raisin, and wine grapes, all bred specifically for their hardiness. Jim Pratt, a Sonoma County plant producer, says he's looking forward to going home with these new plants. It's a new tool that we haven't had in quite a while. The rootstocks that we primarily use in industry are, uh, were bred 100 years ago in Europe. And these are more specific to the problems we have over here in, in California and in the United States. These new rootstocks were bred to resist nematodes or roundworms and phylloxera, a tiny aphid-like pest that feeds on roots of grapevines. Andrew Walker, who spearheaded this work, says the new plant material performed well when tested. These will resist uh, half a dozen different nematodes in combination. Uh, so we've tested them extensively against the, in, in pots, which is a much more severe environment than vineyards. We know exactly how they perform against those nematodes. Walker says that traditional breeding was used because scientists don't yet have the biotechnology solutions to these nagging problems. So we know we have uh, four or five different sources of resistance combined into one package that should provide very broad and, and long-term resistance to these nematodes. Wine from these plants could be on the shelves in five years. Paul Fotenauer reporting from UC Davis. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.